Welcome to our summer essentials class. Um, this is going to serve as an introduction to essential oils with a specific focus on the products that you're going to need to have a healthy and happy summertime. So if you haven't met me yet, my name is Katherine Case and my platform online with essential oils is called Essential Oils Daily because we really do use essential oils every day um, you can visit my blog for more information and um, connect on social media. We're always learning. I'm still learning, even though I've used essential oils since 2010. Um, I'm still learning new things every day. And of course, doTERRA is learning new things all the time um, with their focus on research and development and finding new, um, new oils to use all the time, too. So there's something just magical magical about summertime. Um, I love the summertime with um, having the kids home from school and being able to play outdoors, staying up late and catching fireflies and um, swimming at the neighborhood pool and taking a vacation or playing in the woods. There's just so much fun uh, to have. And if we're healthy, then we can have more fun, right? So this Emerson quote, um, stuck out to me and it's just so um, I don't know I just love I love all the magic of summer but of course there are some things that come up too where you're gonna need to support your body a little bit better because you're asking a little more of it so um, what is an essential oil this is the definition that I've always worked with um, Essential oils are quickly changing or volatile. You might hear the word volatile, and that's not scary. That just means quick changing. So that's the only, uh, it's a scientific term. And that, like when you talk about people who are volatile, they are quickly changing too. But uh, this is in a normal, healthy sense. Aromatic, they're natural aromatic compounds, steam distilled or cold, depre cold pressed from plants. So depending on, um, what the plant is. Most are steam distilled. Some citrus oils are cold pressed. However, we're seeing an abuse of this term essential oil and we're seeing essential oils wherever we go, but they're not the real deal. Um, doTERRA has kind of created this multi-billion dollar industry and there's lots of people trying to jump on it. Every other network marketing company has launched a line of essential oils and <clears throat> we're seeing them um, just everywhere we go. I've seen the things called essential oils at home store, at Best Buy, the electronics store. I've seen them at the dollar store. Um, and there are some, some things that you would want to watch out for. One, if they are all the same price, it doesn't make any sense because our oils are sourced very differently and different um, quantities of plant material are required for the different types of oils. So uh, lemon, for example, is really pretty inexpensive to source and a 15 ml bottle should cost around $10. If, but uh, if the frankincense oil would cost the same amount, we would raise um, some red flags because frankincense is more difficult to source and more plant re material is required and um, you know it's it's different it's more valuable it's more precious so um, they would have a different price so tell me in the comments below what's the funniest place you've seen essential oils for sale so here's what you need to know. The essential oil industry is not regulated at all. No one's overseeing this. Um, it's kind of like the cosmetic industry where people can make a claim on a label and it doesn't have to be backed by anything. Um, it's really just buyer beware. So um, any advice that I give, anything that I mention about essential oils applies only to doTERRA essential oils. I know there are probably other decent brands of essential oils, but they're the ones that I trust and the ones that I've used. So I don't have any experience with other essential oils because I don't waste my money on them. So anything I'm telling you here on my blog, on Facebook, applies only to this specific brand. Because I know um, that they go to great lengths to source their oils where they grow indigenously. They go through 
tons of testing and tons of transparency. As a matter of fact, if you look at the bottom of your doTERRA oil, you can find a batch number and you can plug that batch number into source you.com and you can pull up the exact um, test results for that batch number. Isn't that amazing? So you know exactly what is in it and no other company is doing that. And that is why um, healthcare facilities are starting to use doTERRA essential oils and why we're going to see that big shift in the next five years uh, with more and more hospitals incorporating our oils because like our friend who is a researcher at Johns Hopkins said, um, she, she did test some other oils first. Her mom was using doTERRA oils and had some very positive health outcomes over the course of a winter when she would normally have some respiratory issues and she didn't have any of that that winter. And so the, um, this researcher went out and she bought some essential oils that she could get at the store and she tested them in her lab um, and they did not produce the kind of results that she was expecting based on her mom's health outcomes. And so she went back to her and said, mom, I think it's just a placebo effect. Um, <laughs> because, you know, once I, once she ran them through the rigors of her lab, she saw that there was nothing good from them. And her mom said, well, you have to use doTERRA oils. So she contacted doTERRA and doTERRA sent her a case of oils and said, go test them. So that, that was a really good partnership. And she's publishing some literature on that, which you can see um, pretty soon. And um, just about the, the efficacy and um, how, how well they work in preventing um, illness by boosting our immune system and different things like that. So here's a bonus of why I, another reason why I love doTERRA. Um, they use a sourcing model that they've developed called co-impact. And it's kind of like having a double bottom line where um, people are valued and protected, but also um, economies all over the globe are be being stimulated and built. And we are protecting the plants in the meantime. We're not over harvesting or putting any endangered species at risk. And we're looking at sustainability over the long haul. So um, making sure that we're taking care of the people and the plants and um, having the highest quality essential oils too. If you want to learn more about source to you or uh, more about the co-impact sourcing, um, we have a ton of those stories on the official doTERRA YouTube channel that are really great to watch and see um, the different people who, whose lives have been benefited by this. So it's really amazing. Every time I use certain oils, I think of where they're grown indigenously um, and the people that are benefiting from them. So cardamom essential oil is grown in Guatemala and Guatemala was recently struck by volcano or volcano eruptions. And um, I just think of them when I use that because they're having um, some respiratory distress and they've suffered great loss. And that essential oil is something that benefits our respiratory health. So I just think of them and it reminds me to pray for them. And um, there's just so much depth and thought that goes into how we source these essential oils. So it's not just, you know, a synthetically produced thing in a lab where there's no connection. Um, we really know where they come from and the people who are growing them and putting care into them. So here are three different ways to use essential oils. And once again, this only applies to doTERRA essential oils. If you are going to use um, something from a store call that says essential oil, I, uh, and you look at the label, it's probably going to say for aromatic use only. Um, and if it does say for aromatic use only, I would recommend to not use it because you're if it's coming into your lungs, it's going into your bloodstream. That's actually the fastest way to get something into your body is through your lungs. Uh, so if it's not healthy for your skin or to use internally, it's probably not great for you to be inhaling that either. So aromatic would be um, breathing it in. It would, you could use it, an essential oil diffuser or you can put it in your hands and breathe it in. You can um, use some diffuser jewelry. That's it aromatic use and that's going to affect your mood that's going to affect the limbic system of your brain 
Um, and you can have some really positive results that way. I love diffusing oils in our home. Uh, it affects the mood of the whole group. <laughs> so um, it's nice to be able to calm everyone down at the end of the day or to sanitize the air once they come home from school, things like that. So aromatic is a great way to use essential oils. You're going to use very few drops of essential oil to fill your whole home with the, the aroma. Uh, again, you could use oils topically. So you would apply it to the area of concern. So if you want to apply oils to your skin, you're going to use a carrier oil to spread that out over your skin and help the absorption of the oil. Uh, like we said in the definition of the essential oils, they're quickly changing. So that means they evaporate quickly and they flash off quickly, especially the citrus oils. Um, so once you take the cap off of your essential oil, you want to put it back on as soon as you're done so that the the compounds in the bottle don't change too quickly because as they're exposed to air, they do change. So put some carrier oil in your hand or use an unscented lotion and apply a few drops of your essential oil and then spread that out over your skin. If your, your skin's gonna need some support or if say for example, you're riding in the car this summer on a road trip and your tummy is a little bit um, unsettled you can apply oils right to that area and have the positive effect. You can also take oils internally. And again, this only applies to doTERRA essential oils and it only applies to the ones that have the nutrition facts on the side. So if it can be used um, internally, it will say some supplement facts on the side and it will say one drop um, and you know how much you could use it. So you could use it in four ounces of water. Um, that doesn't mean if it says, you know, one drop in four ounces of water, it doesn't mean you would put four drops in 16 ounces of water. Does that make sense? Still just one drop is the serving size. And you could do that every few hours. You'll find that a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to go over the top 10 oils. We have several single oils and then several blends. And then I'm gonna go over some specifics just for the summertime. So this is a great little travel kit called the Family Essentials Kit. And it's gonna be everything you need for summertime and winter. Um, there's a lot of really great oils in there that is really, they'll really um, replace a lot of the things that you're using. So some of the single oils, um, lavender is gonna be your best friend this summer. <laughs> we use it for, all skin things. So anytime you want to soothe any skin irritations, if you get um, if you get skin irritations from specific plants, um, if you get like an itchy reaction from a plant as you're hiking or something this summer, I have a recipe that I'll share at the end with lavender and a couple of other oils, and you can make it into a spray um, so that you're not touching the irritation on your skin. You don't even have to touch the irritation that you could just spray it on and it's going to be really great. Um, lavender is also really good to calm moods. So if um, you're on a long road trip with kiddos and you need to settle them down, that's really a good one to, to diffuse in the air or to just put right on them so that your driver does not become relaxed. <laughs> Um, you could also take it internally with lemon and peppermint for any seasonal discomfort. So if you feel um, those things when the weather shifts um, with um, when pollen is heavy in the air, if your body needs some extra support, go with this combination of lavender, lemon, and peppermint. There's also, they're already pre pre-blended in a capsule called Tri-Ease, which is lavender, lemon, and peppermint together because we were making our own capsules for so long and doTERRA said, we'll do that for you because they love us. <clears throat> Another good thing that lavender is for is um, removing splinters from your finger. Like if you're uh, working outside or playing, you know, getting stuff ready for a bonfire and you get a splinter of wood in your finger, um, put some lavender on it and it'll It'll work itself out and become easy to remove. So that's another great little tr trick for you. Lemon has so many uses. Lemon's an uplifting oil. Um, you can use it to brighten your teeth with some baking soda. 
um, just mix it together. You can add some to your hand soap to remove grease and dirt after working outdoors. We've been working on our deck on our house and I needed to remove um, some paint from my hands. And citrus oils are a great way to do that. You could add it to your food. It's really um, a great thing to add to a marinade for fish or um, any, so many recipes, so many great recipes. And you can find those at Do on doTERRA's blog as well. Um, and you can remove, you could use it around your house to remove sticky residue from surfaces. You can make a, a wood polish with some citrus oils and arbor vitae and olive oil. It's a really great wood polish. And uh, here's a little funny thing. You could diffuse it when you just don't feel like cleaning and you want your home to smell good because <laughs> it's really uplifting. A note about the citrus oils, because they are cold pressed from the rind, they contain a, a component that is photosensitive, meaning if you put this on your skin right before you go out into the sun, it might cause your skin to burn. So um, for the summertime, you could stick to the topical use before bed or um, stick to the aromatic and internal use and it won't be photosensitive. So note that about these citrus oils. Here's a little note about peppermint. Um, it's also one of our top three. So I went over the lavender, lemon, and peppermint together are, are a secret weapon for those seasonal, seasonal discomforts. Um, you can keep a spray bottle of peppermint in your bag. I keep it uh, with me. I took it to the beach with me and squirted you know, the back of my neck when I became too hot. Um, you can keep it in your car. It's also a natural insect repellent. Um, I've used it, you know, some, one day I was driving and a spider was crawling on my windshield and I couldn't tell if it was inside or outside. And I sprayed it with a peppermint and it fell down. So that meant it was on the inside and I was really glad I had that. So I wasn't trying to, you know, drive and take care of a spider at the same time because that was, <laughs> that's just terrifying. Just terrifying if you don't like spiders. Um, you can make um, mint uh, shake with by adding just one drop of peppermint oil. A little bit goes a long way. That's uh, a great to, this is another great one for digestive upset. If you're you know, traveling and or if you've had too much picnic food, it's really going to soothe that occasional digestive upset. Another single oil uh, is melaleuca or tea tree oil. We keep this on hand for cleansing and it's another secret ingredient in that recipe that I'm going to share with you at the end. Um, it cleans, it's really great for scrapes and um, any of those things that you encounter when you're playing outside. You could put it on the occasional blemish that you might get. You could apply it to your nail beds. It's really great to incorporate into a cuticle oil and um, it's gonna keep everything really healthy. Frankincense is our secret weapon when you don't know what else to do because it is so chemically complex. Um, we just love this essential oil. We um, put it on our hands after a long day of gardening. It promotes circulation, so it's gonna be really great for um, any sort of, <clears throat> anything you wanna promote circulation, <laughs> really, like if you're having imbalance, if you um, have any bruising on your legs and you wanna promote the blood flow there, if you're retaining some water, it's going to be really great for any of those things. It has just like a really calming, calming aroma too. Oregano. This is one um, we don't use a ton, but when we do need it, we're really glad that we have it. So this is the big immune boost when you are facing a threat um, and you really need to go go for it with a big essential oil that's going to boost your immune system. It is a hot oil, so it doesn't make sense that it would be hot because you think of like a dried herb is what you're used to and being exposed to oregano, but the essential oil itself is very hot. So um, for example, my husband had an, an eye irritation from 
some dust being blown in his eye when he was using the rowing machine and he was trying some eye drops and they weren't quite doing it. And so he looked up um, in one of the resource books what to do and it recommended oregano. Well, you would not put oregano by your eye because it is hot, right? And the skin around your eye is very sensitive. And you don't want to put essential oils in your eyes and you want to be very careful around your eyes. So he looked up the reflex points for your feet and applied it to his foot, which was, it was like the second and third toes. And the next morning when he woke up, his eye was all better. And it was very nice to have that empowerment. And then you would follow it up for a few days. But when you are using that, you are going to smell a little bit like pizza, which is <laughs> good or bad. It's up to you. Um, so here are the blends. These take a few of the single oils and blend them together and get this synergistic um, response that works really well. So doTERRA goes to great lengths to research these. So the Breathe Respiratory Blend, I used this over my airways last night. Uh, we had been working out in the, like I said, we'd been working on our deck and we were working out in the heat and it's very humid and hot in Tennessee and I needed some respiratory support last night. So I put it over my airways and it just that tight feeling just kind of went away and I was able to breathe really well. It's also great before you're going to exercise outside. Like I said, if it's, if it's hot and humid where you are and you need to open those up a little bit, it's going to support that. And again, during the change of seasons to minimize those seasonal threats um, when you might have some respiratory discomfort. Another blend that we use all winter and occasionally during the summer is the On Guard Protective Blend. We use the um, hand sanitizing spray most when we're traveling and things like that. You can spray your um, tray on your, on your flight. You can spray the remotes at the hotel room. You can spray everything. <laughs> so we love the, the blend, the oil. We love to diffuse that. Um, we also use it for cleaning our produce and spraying down surfaces, but that the pre-made sanitizing spray is really a great thing to have over the summertime. When you're traveling, um, as soon as you leave a store, I always spray my kids hands down and it's really gonna prevent um, any of the things that are you know floating around. Another blend that we used last night after working so hard in the yard was the Deep Blue Soothing Blend. So you can apply it to your feet and your knee, any place you're going to put extra stress on your body. Um, we use it in a carrier oil uh, for kids who have some growing pains. My son and I ran this kids obstacle race on Saturday. Um, <laughs> it was like a mile and a half and lots of obstacles. And so I think he did better than I did, but um, we're gonna dilute that for our children because it is, it has some of the spicier oils in it. Um, but I rubbed his legs with that before bed and um, he, he didn't wake me up at all in the nighttime complaining of anything. So <laughs> um, we use it on our muscles. Anytime you're doing fun things and you're, you're working your body a little harder than it's used to, it's a great thing to have on hand. Digest Zen is our digestive blend. So like I said, if you've had um, too much, if you've overindulged at a picnic or, um, you know, had food that you don't normally have, like burgers and hot dogs and bread and all those things, um, you're going to be able to apply this to your, your abdomen. You can also take it in water or take it internally in a capsule. We do have pre-made capsules of Digest Zen. And um, it's another great thing. A lot of people like this for um, any of that motion sickness that you get while traveling. I use a different blend that I, that's just a little bit more gentle. It's um, spearmint and ginger. I really like that for traveling and applying it to the reflex points on my wrist so I don't get any of that uh, motion uneasiness. But a lot of people go with the Digest Zen for that too. Okay, so here are a few extra summer necessities that you're going to need. You're going to need some Terra Shield repellent blend. 
I know that we spend a lot of time outdoors and um, ticks are bad this year and mosquitoes are bad. And so we use this Terra Shield and it's been really good for us. Um, if you're in an area, depending if you're um, in like the deep woods, you might need to add, to add a little bit of lemongrass to your Terra Shield and just spray that on. Um, you could add just like five or six drops of lemongrass to that bottle of Terra Shield and it's gonna keep away all of the things and it's gonna last a little bit longer too. The only thing lemongrass is a little bit of a stimulant. So if you're, say you're camping out all night, you might not be using the lemongrass because that might keep you up a little bit. Um, I know it gives me a lot of energy when I need it. Another thing that you're gonna want is the Helichrysum essential oil. It's a single oil and it comes in a 5 ml and it's a little pricier, but it is worth its weight in gold because um, it's just so healing for any, it's my go-to for first aid. After I've cleaned a thing, if it needs cleaned, if an injury or something like that, um, I'll apply helichrysum. And if it needs medical attention, then I'll get medical attention. But that's my thing. That's the first line of defense. And it's great for um, so many things. And we've had a lot of um, saved trips <laughs> to the ER if we have like an injury or big bruise and that, well, it seems like it's going to be a goose egg or something like that and it goes right down. So if you're an active family, you're going to want that with you. You're going to want it um, in your backpack if you're hiking and, um, or at the pool or whatever, whatever you're doing and keeping busy, you're going to want to have that with you. Uh, another essential oil to keep with you this summer would be Balance Essential Oil. It is a blend, and it's our it's our grounding blend, so it's a really great one. It's going to be good for travel. It's going to be good for um, calming those moods in the car. It's going to be good for um, soothing skin irritations. It's the best thing for diaper rash that we've experienced, so it doesn't seem like it. It's a really good aftershave, things like that. Um, and then you're going to want some fractionated coconut oil, and that is a carrier oil that we use. It stays in the liquid state. It does not smell like coconuts, so it's a really good thing to um, keep on hand. So if you're just getting started with essential oils, you need to have some of that fractionated coconut oil with you too. <clears throat> so here's the recipe that I use for after sun, any skin irritation from plants, um, any owie spray. We use this kind of for everything. And you're gonna take some equal parts of melaleuca, lavender, and frankincense in fractionated coconut oil. So um, you could do this in a rollerball, but I really like it in this spray because like I said, if my kids fall on the playground and they scrape their knee, they don't want me touching their boo-boo. Um, it's really great to just spray on. And especially if you have, um, if you've experienced too much sun, and your skin's irritated from that, or if you have a skin irritation from a plant, um, it's really nice to be able to spray this on and not touch whatever you're dealing with, not touch the irritated skin. So you'll use about, if say you're working with a four ounce bottle, you'll probably use about 10 drops of each of those and then fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil. If it is, too much sun and you want the cooling effect of peppermint, that's a great one to add in there too. Um, and it might be good for those, uh, the plant irritation too. So there's three ways to buy your essential oils. If you're new to doTERRA, you can buy retail, but I always say friends don't let friends buy retail because um, you can get a wholesale membership and it saves you so much money. Or you can do the below wholesale plan with the loyalty rewards program. So I'm gonna go over those options. So retail, you would get um, support from our community. You can shop online anytime and have your wish list delivered to your door. Um, if you do the wholesale option, it is $35 for the year and you get 25% off of everything. So it's gonna be worth it, I think. So. Um, it looks <clears throat> kind of like Costco, except an even better deal where you get 25% off of the retail price. And you can also have the shipping um, reimbursed through points if you do the below wholesale option. So if you set up your subscription box called Loyalty Rewards, 
You get the support of our community. You get to shop online anytime. You get your wish list delivered to your door. You get 25% off everything and you get up to 30% back. And you get shipping back and you can earn the free product of the month, which is announced each month on the first of the month. So if you spend 125 PV, which is close to $125, um, you can get this free product of the month. And so if you haven't set that up yet, you can go to mydoterra.com slash essential oils daily and you click join and save. And then you can customize your order. You customize your initial order or order one of the pre-made kits that's already put together for you. And then you can set up your monthly order subsequently to plan out. That's for people who plan ahead, people who kind of are proactive with their health, people who want to save money. That's the best option for you. So if you're watching this in current time, at the time of this recording, it's June 2018, and these are the promotions. If it's not June 2018 when you're watching this, you'll go to doTERRA.com to look at the monthly promotions and see what they are. So for this month, this um, Lifelong Vitality Pack, I didn't talk about this in my intro, but it is the, it's the number one best-selling product. Even though doTERRA is an essential oil company, this is the best-selling product because um, it has all of the vitamins and minerals. It has all of the marine and plant omegas, and it has all of the, the cellular health um, promoting compounds in those three things. So um, it's a supplement system, and it has everything you need. Every time a new um, supplement comes out every time a new ingredient or something is is being promoted in the health circles i look at the label for my lifelong vitality and it's already in there i'm already getting that so when someone mentions coq10 i'm already getting that <laughs> somebody mentions astaxanthin i'm already getting that when someone mentions you know whatever it is they're mentioning i'm getting all of the things that i need um and the, this supplement system is really foundational for all of your health systems. So it's foundational for detoxifying your body. It's foundational for promoting um, balanced hormones. It's foundational for all of everything that you're going to need. So if you're brand new and you sign up in June with a 100 PV enrollment order, and then you place another 100 PV order in July, because you're trying to make over your, your home. If you want to um, try the skincare in July or hair care or things like that, and you place another 100 PV order, you'll get this included in your July order. So it's a really, really good value as you can see. And it, um, we just love that product. We love those, those supplements. They make such a big difference. At the free product of the month, is the lavender touch which is lavender that's already blended in with fractionated coconut oil so this is a great um, thing to keep in your purse to travel with you in your backpack while you're hiking um, like i said lavender is going to be your best friend for summer and then 10 percent off this month month is the fennel essential oil so fennel um, that's for anyone who's shopping they'll get that fennel at 10% off when you add it to your cart. It's on, the deduction is already taken off. So you don't have to do anything else with those promotions. If you qualify for the promotion, it'll just be included in your shipment. So if you have a 125 PV order by the 15th and you're already on loyalty rewards, you're gonna get that lavender touch for free. and It'll just be included in there. So we can connect on Instagram or Facebook. My I'm essential oils daily everywhere you, everywhere you look. So you can go to my website, katherinecase.com, Facebook slash essential oils daily, Instagram slash essential oils daily. Pinterest is also Catherine Case, my name. So, and you can comment below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to have some more education here. Hopefully we'll have do an intro class for each season. So this is my intro class for summer with some specific attention to the, the needs that you'll have for summer and um, any other things that you hope to learn. We're going to have all of that information here. So I hope that you guys have the best summer yet, that you're empowered and you're ready for whatever comes your way.